Hello, welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast, the, the podcast where the only bear Nona has to deal with is me. I'm your host, Andrew. This is my wife, Nona. Welcome back to another episode of all time. Did you like that? That dramatic lights turn on after the episode starts? You actually would be a bear in the gay community, wouldn't you, babe? Yeah, you've told me that. You said that uh, your your boy called me. Yeah, you're big ago. and hairy. I'm actually not that hairy. I'm definitely not like uh, what's his name from uh, what's the damn show? Ted Lasso. Yeah. Are you talking about? Yeah, Ted Lasso. The retired did, footballer. Yeah. Did you notice that they made a comment? I don't remember which episode it was in, but they made a comment about Ryan Reynolds buying a team because they bought that. It was a Wrexham or something like that. I think it's him and Will Ferrell. Mm-hmm. Maybe. I don't know. And I didn't know that that was a real team. I didn't. I okay. Didn't, I didn't know. Okay. Um, We're all learning new things yeah. here. Today's episode is uh, presented by Nona Phelps. NonaPhelps.com. Get your insurance from Nona Phelps. Nona Lee Max, whatever you want to call her. <laughs> whatever you want to call her. She shows up. I just got called a mermaid at Harris Cedar. She shows She's still, Okay. <laughs> Charlotte. Was, that, was Charlotte with you? <laughs> no. Okay. No. You, you were just talking about mermaids. You guys were talking about them this morning. You that wasn't were, even I wasn't even part of that about, conversation. Yeah, it was were, Chloe and Charlotte talking about the Starbucks, Starbucks logo. Yeah. yeah, it had nothing to do with the, America's Technology <laughs> Center of Excellence, LeeMaxMedia.com. I'm cutting on off because she's rambling on about let's see her face. They're like, this motherfucker. Is that what you're thinking? This motherfucker. Speak. Carry on. Anyways, today. Today, did you see the show notes? Did you see the see what I what I put up there? No. No, you haven't looked at this at all. No, I've been so, busy working. So this has been a work in progress for like a week or, or whatever. Okay. Anyways, um, I was thinking, you know, we can segment the show. We can do like a one day as a comedy day, where okay. it's just random mixed bag of bullshit. We just talk about. So that way people who only want the serious will know to yeah. avoid the other yeah. two days. So gotcha. so this isn't set in stone yet, but what I have put down here was Monday's comedy. So it's three C's. Monday's comedy, Tuesday's culture, and Thursday's crime. Dang. We can give each show a, a, a funny, punny name each episode. So uh, Drink Bros, or not even Drink Bros, it was uh, their um, other show, Ross and Jesse's personal show. Okay. The Ross Patterson Revolution. Jesse has what she calls her crime corner, and that's where they talk about true crime stuff. So we can't use that, obviously. But and also, these are people that we do not want to emulate. Well, yeah, no. Um, I do want to give a shout out to uh, Eli Cuevas for his help and insight for making some modifications to our set, giving some equipment recommendations. Uh, he's on the unsubscribe podcast. They are a bigger podcast than we are by many hundreds of thousands, millions, all of the numbers and every metric on every platform. This is the only podcast that I know their, anything about. And that's barely at their, any. their Reddit even has like almost 30,000. Holy moly. Subscribers or sub. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what they call their members on Reddit. I don't, I don't even know. I'm sure they have a Patreon. I'm sure they have all, But all of them are also independently successful. Eli worked and or works for Black Rifle. He does a lot of really humorous stuff. He does like video game streaming. He'd probably be somebody that the kids would watch if, if they stumbled upon him. Okay. He does a lot of really cool, goofy, quirky um, animations and editing and stuff. Okay. He's, he does a lot of those like small big like forced perception stuff where like he'll be holding himself in his own hand and just yeah okay <laughs> uh good dude obviously very good dude okay. and then um well now i think their show is their show is eli the foul electrician nick um uh, brandon herrera i think his baddie's on there maybe baddie left i don't know maybe he's just on and off he's another game streamer a lot of yeah, I don't know. Batty. I don't. I don't know who he is personally. I don't know anything about his history. I just know who he is because he's friends with people that I know. I thought that was a B A B 
B-A-D-D-I-E. And I think it's the way his logo is for his streaming channel is like bad die. Correct me? Somebody? I don't know. But that's when I look at the logo, that's yeah, what I, I see. Yeah, I thought Batty oh. was Okay, never that's, mind. That's what I see. Look who else is on there. There's a couple other people. Okay. Anyways. It's it's basically all the guys that I've followed, or some of them I know, or some of them I'm like one degree of separation from by people that I know. And so when they started the podcast, I was like, oh, I'll give it a follow. Okay. Actually, coincidentally, Eli told me yesterday that I've watched more of unsubscribed podcasts than he has because he's watched none. <laughs> and I was like, man, you sound like my wife. You guys sound like movie stars because that's what movie stars say. They don't even watch their own movies. I don't want to hear my own it's, voice. But but actors, ever. I don't want to look at myself act, ever. Actors and actresses don't even say that. What they say is that they don't, they don't. Okay. I guess the better analogy is like uh, a baker, right? Like a baker obviously has like sample to make sure that what they're putting out is going out, but they're not eating the whole cake. They have to make sure that. They sample the product. I had other people sample my baked goods. <laughs> well, that's because you have weird dietary restrictions. Not even restrictions. You self-impose them. No. Um, so then, in addition to comedy, culture, and crime. Okay. Okay. Segments within these shows. Maybe okay. not every segment in every show, but some segments in some shows. Okay. One of them. Feel good moments. So, just found out that... um Wow, my mind's blanking on me right now, and I'm gonna feel like a piece of shit. Um, let me pull up Facebook real quick. Lori, uh, cancer, cancer did, free, cancer did not spread. So okay. her her exact message, I'll read it right here. Bladder cancer free after surgery. No IV chemo. Did I? No IV chemo's needed. Just a pill for a while, uh, and we'll have some radiation. Everything was contained in the bladder and removed with great negative margins. <gasps> Congratulations. That's amazing. So I did tell her on Wednesday that we give her a shout out. That's amazing. Congratulations. So feel good moments, right? That's, yes. that's a good one. Um, Andrew Taintisms. <laughs> You're welcome. Taintism? Yeah, it's double <laughs> vent. His name's Andrew Tate. It's perfect, right? It's perfect. Or, or, um, Apparently, my last gets blown out, so I have to... It might not anymore. They might be blowing out their speakers right now. H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A. <laughs> no, you have to do it. No, you have to do it the Mexican way. Ja-ja-ja-ja-ja. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Andrew Taintisms. So oh, my God. Andrew Tate. His most recent one is that if you cook, you're not a real man. Hmm. Yeah. If you even know how to cook. You're not a real man. Mm -hmm. You should be doing war things, mm -hmm. even though he's never been. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, the bacon break. The fuck. Where I, where I eat some bacon and give some. What the fuck? Drop some knowledge so that I can just get up and leave yeah. while you're just shoving your yeah. face with I'll bacon. Drop, I'll drop some knowledge, um, and then something you learned. Something you learned this week, like PBS moment, right? We'll do PBS the we'll do the moment. more you know animation at the end of it. Oh my God! See, interdust professional. We even have we even have stuff hanging on the wall mm -hmm. on the set, and Nona has a step ladder. Mm. Thanks, <laughs> Andrew. You're so sweet to You're me. You're welcome. You're welcome. Why are we? Why is this screen always so dim? What's this kid doing with my laptop up there? We know what he's doing with my laptop, but I don't want to. Still, I'm still gonna pose the question. Who's in the bathroom? Like in the in the bathroom, up there, three separate times last night mm -hmm. for very long periods of time. Mm -hmm. Three times. I don't want to know. He might be pleasuring. Well, okay. He might be pleasuring a woman in his future. What? A woman in his future? Yeah. Like when women are like, oh, I want. I want to go again. I want seconds or whatever. When you were that age, I'm sure you jerked off like 10 times a day. Mm. And now you can barely muster having sex one time a day. You're like, it hurts. Now it's so sensitive. Oh, I can't. Because you got vice grip in your pants. What would you feel like if I walked around clamping your arm all day? Would you be like, yeah, my arm feels amazing? No, I don't want you to touch me ever. Whatever. So on that note, uh, what on we, that note, we're already, we're already 11 minutes into this episode. We mm. haven't talked about anything. No, we haven't talked about anything nope. other than taint isms. Yeah. 
So, I have stuff pulled up. Should this just be the comedy show? Okay. All right. Make me laugh, babe. If you can make me laugh genuinely and not laughing at how hideously you... stupid. Um, what did do you know who uh Scarlett Johansson's husband is? I didn't even know she was married. Well, she used to be married to Ryan Reynolds and they got divorced. Okay. So I don't know who her new husband. I didn't even know she got married again. I don't know how long they've been married. I didn't okay. even know that she was married. All right. So what happened? Who is this guy? Well, it's, it's not what happened. Well, I guess kind of it's partly what happened. But okay. uh, trending topics on Google Trends, she was brought up twice. And I was like, okay, what's happening here? Yeah, what's happening? Uh, they were just comparing her net worth to her husband's. Her husband is Colin Jost. Who from is From Saturday that? Night Live. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did know that, actually. So he was, I guess he was at the White House Correspondents okay. and roasted everybody. Of course, okay. it's not a real roast because. Right, right. It's all scripted. Yeah. It has to be within PC compliances, yeah. of course. Yeah. So, but he's a funny guy. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen anything that he's done in a long time. I completely but... forgot that they were married. Yeah. Oh, my God. Lord Stern's still alive. I definitely read Hell. nerd prom as nerd porn. Oh, so, Hillary yeah. Clinton. What? What? Right here. Beltway to nerd prom, but I read it as oh. nerd porn because it's so small and off to the side. Somebody, somebody was tweeting about that, and they were like, what's nerd prom? And I was like, sounds like it's a prom for nerds. Was that the theme? That's all I, like, literally, I, I can't I, I didn't. From I didn't here. look into it past then. You know that. Okay. We just read headlines yeah, and that's I it. I, I don't okay. consume. I just produce. Sure. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, how Hillary Clinton helped make Jill Biden's Howard Stern interview happen. Okay. Howard Stern's fucking weird. So anyways, what what was funny about Scarlett Johansson and what's his face? Well, I just thought it was funny that she was married to him. I just didn't know. And I was like, oh. And then, um, so I haven't read any of this, these two articles that I have okay. on these tabs. But one of them was talking about their net worth and how they compare. Mm -hmm. So I was curious because we had talked about basketball and oh yeah, pay between men and women. Men I have and... that in show notes to talk about in one of these episodes. So I thought maybe... Definitely not comedy because it's not funny how okay, well, little the women are making. It's not... It's not It's not funny. the men's fault, though. It's not funny. But anyways. All right, so we'll come back to this later. But he's a funny guy. Yeah, totally. Completely forgot that they were married. Well, since it's Mental Health Month this month. Oh, it is? I had no yeah. idea. I didn't know. Either. I don't even know what month or it mental is. Mental Health May. Awareness Month, yeah. Mental Health Awares Awareness Month and Cinco de Mayo's on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And Mother's... Oh, that's why. That's why it's Mental Health Month. What do you think the kids are going to do for you? So funny. You're so funny. What do you think the kids are going to do for you? Uh, draw me pictures at school, of course. Only at school? You don't think they're going to do anything here at home? Nah. Nothing? No. Nah. You don't think we have a secret plot? No, you don't, you don't have think... a secret plot. Okay, if you guys didn't see the the uh, community post, Nona bought me a Blackstone Pro Series 4 burner, all everything, you know, contained you know, apartments, drawers, outdoor kitchen deal. Okay. Like two, two weeks ago? Three weeks ago? Two and a half weeks ago? Yeah, it was like three weeks so ago. So you know what that means. That means I'm on the hot seat for Mother's Day. She did it right before Mother's Day to be like, hey, motherfucker, I expect something. Zero expectations here. See? People know that's a lie. No, oh, I was just being I, nice. I that's know. All. I know. But I also know, and they, the audience knows, that you're expecting a lot. Anyways. So. Anyways. Um, make me laugh. Yeah. we've been, So, I don't know how this works. Mental Health Awareness Month. I just opened a bunch of tabs that I was like, this might be interesting content, but this is not an interesting article because it's from the Illinois.gov website. Yeah, that sounds terrible. It'll lead to the opposite of yeah, yeah. happy mental health. Yep. Here we go. Okay, I'm ready. Barbara Streisand publicly asked Melissa McCarthy about Ozempic, sparking debate on weight and shaming. Oh, I thought we were going to do a whole episode about Ozempic by itself. The Ozempic face or whatever it's called? No, it's a whole everything, not just the face. But okay, we can talk about this. Well, I only know, so it's a, it was created for... Diabetes. Um, yeah. Yes. But it's used for weight loss. That is what a lot of people are using people it money. for. People with money. Because it costs a lot of money, and it is creating a shortage 
of people who actually need it I'm gonna go medically. Buy, I'm going to go buy a bunch of EpiPens so a bunch of kids with allergies die from bee stings. I'm just kidding. Man, your phone's blowing up this popular. It's work. Sure. It's literally right here. It's work. So, comment left on Barbara Streisand. Comment left. A comment left. Barbara Streisand. Wait, what? No, a comment Barbara Streisand left on Instagram. Instagram. Wow. My words today. Uh, shared by Melissa McCarthy this week has sparked conversation about weight, shaming, and increasingly widespread use of drugs for weight loss. McCarthy 53 shared two photos of, on her Instagram page Sunday of herself with director Adam Shockman. Shankman. Why can't people just have normal names? Okay, so basically, I, I haven't seen the name. picture, but I'm just going on the assumption that she's recently lost weight. She looks, she looks and, normal. Well, it's kind of hard Who's to this? tell. Oh, that's the director for the uh, says right there. It's kind of hard to tell from that picture because, I mean, she's wearing a jacket. She's wearing a flowy dress. Like, you don't no, really know what's no, happening no, underneath. No, 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 but her no, face does look a little slimmer. No, no, no. So guys can tell. <laughs> guys can tell. Anyways, the point being. I lost connection. The point being. The point being. The assumption for the last two years, if you have lost weight, you likely are using Ozempic if you are in the Hollywood I was going to say, are you telling me I shouldn't go to the gym anymore? No. <laughs> it, it's just now speculation for anybody, including people who were already thin to begin with. But if they've lost any additional weight, and and there's a good chance that they are and don't want to admit hey, to it. I just use steroids. <laughs> oh, my God. Just go to the gym, walk your dog, and use anabolic steroids. Oh, my God. So anyway, friend is pretty inexpensive. So anyways, D ball is pretty inexpensive. D ball. Yeah. I don't know anything about this stuff. I just know the medical stuff behind it. D ball. Yeah. D B O L. I'm dick and balls deep in you. Yeah. D ball. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you hear yeah. how this sounds? Yes. Okay. People that know, no, no, like right there. She doesn't look. No, but that's. Is that a picture from? I don't know. Doesn't it say in the? Doesn't it say down here? No, it doesn't. That says 2016. Where the fuck do you see 2016? Right there. 2016. No, no, no. This is for this picture. This is just a continuation of the article. It has nothing to do with the picture. Okay, but if they were the comments on Instagram, it didn't happen in real life, so they didn't actually see each other recently in real life. I bet I can just click this link like but a normal person. Anyways. Instagram page. Let's see what this is all. Oh, page isn't available. That's convenient. Okay. So anyways. It's been removed. Mm. So clearly somebody's not happy with something. Oh, it was about this picture. The picture we were already looking at. She just looks normal. Okay. Do you think that when fat people that are funny get skinny that they become less funny? Because I feel like that's a trend. I feel like one of two things happens. Either they intentionally become less funny because they no longer want to be typecast. Or two, they were never funny to begin with. But because they were fat, we thought they were funny. That's really interesting that you say that. Because Fat Amy from Pitch Perfect yep. had a contract that stated she was not allowed to lose weight. I can, I can believe that. Because of that theory alone. Because she was not theory. allowed to lose weight, and she had to continue to be the fat, we'll just, funny we'll just character. Post online because I would I'd be interested to read it. I have no idea because she's you... re she's recently lost weight, possibly from Ozempic, because she's no longer doing those pitch perfect movies. So she's allowed to do whatever she were wants we, with her body. Were we talking about it on here about how, um, man. We were talking about how, of course, now I've fucking lost my train of thought. Okay. I took I took a half dose of my Adderall. Why? And a half dose of my Ritalin. Why? So I could get work done. Okay. You know why you, didn't you take a full dose you, so you could get all of your work done do you and know, be on? Do you want to know what's point? funny though? Do you want to know what's funny though? What? Most people claim that Adderall suppresses their hunger. Do you think that's ever been true for me? Yes, and you've said exactly that. You've said. I'm not hungry when I take my Adderall. Okay. You mindlessly okay. snack, though. You don't even know that you're doing it. Gotcha. You're not doing it for hunger. 
You're doing it to put something in your mouth because you really want to guzzle some dick, apparently. Sounds like you. <laughs> I was hoping to make you spit your drink. <laughs> you're always one. You're always one to snack. Now I know what you're thinking. Bring me chips and salsa, please. Mm -hmm. Bring me hummus and pita, please. I actually almost gave you a blowjob the other day. Almost? Yeah, almost. When? You came home from the gym and you didn't take a fucking shower. You sat there in your ball juice. And I was, I was like working. waiting and waiting for you to take a shower. And I was like, as soon as he takes a shower. Was I, was I cooking on the I'm, flat stone? No. As or soon black as stone? No. As soon as he sure? takes, I'm a hundred. What day was this? I've been, I was working right here in the other room while you were sitting here at the computer working. And I was like, when he gets up and takes a shower, I'm going to go find him in the bathroom. And what day was this? Give him a blowjob. And you never got up to take a shower and you just sat there in your ball juices. So you didn't get a blowjob what because day? you didn't take a fucking shower. I don't know. It was like Tuesday or Wednesday, one of the two days. What days did I, did I cook? I don't remember. All I know is I was just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for you to take a shower and you never took a fucking shower and you were nasty. Hmm. I think it was Tuesday because I think there was soccer that night and... Sad reaction. Yeah. Like, you should have taken a shower. Drop your sad emojis in the comments, everyone. And for the 53.9% of you that are not subscribed, get subscribed. <laughs> Hit that like button. Drop a comment. I will respond to your comment. I respond to every comment on YouTube. Every single one. Aww. On every video, every short. Every what are you going to do, post. though? Huh? What are you going to do, though? Just say. Nothing. It just helps. Bob's and Vagine. No, just, it just helps, <laughs> helps boost our visibility. When we okay. engage back with the audience, it increases our reach and our visibility. Okay. Yeah. Bob's and Vagine. Yeah. We have, Hi, dear. We have. Um, so there's a, there's a weekly remix of that now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's really funny. It's really funny. They take all the thirst trap videos from different social media platforms and remix them into the video every single Friday. Okay. So I'll today's Friday. Yep. So you'll have to show it to yep. me. Yeah. Uh, the Grand Admiral propaganda typically reshares it, and that's how I see it. Okay. Yeah. He's uh, from U.S. Army What the Fuck Moments and What the Fuck Nation podcast. So there's your shout out. That was a lot. U.S. Army What the Fuck moments is always like, it's like the memes and bullshit that happens. And it everybody else kind of adopted it. It's like memos that went out. Nobody's allowed to wear this kind of clothes or hair. You're not allowed to have your phone between these. Like, And it's, it's always like an official memo. And something's, they're like, no, you can't do that. You're not a fucking dictator, you fucking O3 captain in the United States Army who's been in for three and a half years and knows less than every single one of your fucking subordinates. Fuck you. Fuck you too. Yep. Okay. They're only barely, only barely better than the lieutenant that gets you lost in the land map course. That's a running joke. So actually, there we go. That'll lead right into Blue Falcon. Since I, you asked me to look into it, I thought it was going to be older I thought the history to Blue Falcon was going to go much deeper. Nope. Per Google, per Gemini, per ChatGPT, per all of it. It's actually mysteriously came around about 2003. And it's just, uh, what is it called when you take the first letter of words and like a phrase and just change the word? So you keep the first letter, but you change the word. So remember what I told you is that it stands for buddy fucker. Yeah. BF. Yeah. Blue Falcon. Yeah. Yeah. And it originated around 2003, and there's like, it's shrouded in mystery. Nobody really knows the origin. Okay. That's the entire. That's it? Yeah. There's not more of a story? Nope. I was. I it, need more of a story behind it, this. My, That's not it, enough yeah. for me. In my mind, it was like, because everything dates back to like World War II. Everything. Everything okay. in the U.S. Army and the Marine Corps in some way, shape, or form, dates back to World War II. So this dates back to Iraq. Yeah, because we invaded Iraq in 2003. So yeah, right. okay. No, we invaded Iraq again right, in right. 2003. Right, right, but something happened. Yeah. Okay. So if you guys know the real story that Google doesn't know, please let us know. We, uh, I need to know. We were talking about blanket parties the other day and how you thought that I was a... You think everything has to do with porn. If there's any... Yeah. But if there's any potential... 
He's porn obsessed. So no. obviously, yes. Whatever. Yes. No. So obviously anything that you When's allude to is obvious. Porn? I don't know. I don't look at your search history. I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to know. I haven't looked at porn in a I long time. I don't want to know. I just assume that it's on a daily. Yes. I look at pictures that you sent me on a daily. I don't send you anything. I, have a whole pol- I know. I have a whole folder of all the old pictures you sent me. <laughs> old pictures. Yeah. A whole folder. Every day that is my you sp- look at pictures of me. Yeah, that is my that is my legitimate spank bank that only I can make withdrawals from. And when do you look at these pictures? Whenever I need to when you're not around if you're not going to do something for me. When you're like, I'm not in the mood, I'm going to bed. I'm like, okay, wait about 30 minutes. Oh my God. What? <laughs> I had no idea. So while I'm sleeping. Yeah. You're welcome. And porn. No, not porn. That's, that's probably how you just start. You're like, uh, but I need like nah. action nah. these are stills i need you've, had, you've sent me videos and i've taken videos of you i have videos yeah. no idea what you're talking about guys i have no <laughs> sure. i have no idea what you're talking what are you about. drinking over there they can see what i'm drinking spicy margarita mm-hmm. today it's friday it and i'm friday. basically done working except for my phone is blowing i'm never done working <laughs> i'm working right now look at me work mom yeah uh let's see here what else do i got on the old the old checklist mm-hmm. um well we didn't talk about blanket parties so what gave you what is a blanket party that's when everybody or a group of people in the barracks jerk well, each other off underneath the blanket yeah that's exactly what it sounds that's like a different name for a circle jerk of course yeah that's exactly <laughs> what it sounds like like we'll put a blanket Cut a hole, glory hole situation. No, that's exactly what it sounds like. It's like well, the pri- the prison mentality went, of oh, that's all went, there is there. When so. I went to basic training was before smartphones, so wouldn't have been applicable then. I had a. Uh, you need a smartphone to jerk somebody else off. I don't understand what you're getting at. No, no, I'm saying that there wasn't like porn and glory. I was. Still, I was only 18, 19, whatever. Okay. So I didn't know like all of the stuff yet. I didn't I didn't need porn at that time. I just had sex all the time. You need to like acid wash plus, your stick. Plus this was before like you, it was even really readily accessible. This was at a time when you still had to download something before you could watch it. You couldn't just stream it. You actually had to click and wait for the whole video to download. Yeah, see? I've never seen porn, so I don't know how any of this works. Any video that you would have watched 20 years ago is the same way. If you wanted to watch a funny video on E-Bombs World, you had to click. I've never been on E-Bombs on World. These people have. You had to click and wait and wait and wait and wait. And the way YouTube used to be early on mm-hmm. is that you had to have the entire video basically preloaded. Because it wouldn't... Right now, what it does is that there's a cache buffer. Okay. So... If you're ever watching a video, mm-hmm. watch watch the uh, the scrub bar, right? Because mm-hmm. you'll see everything that you watched previously will be dark red, and then you'll see the little circle, and then in front of the little circle, you so see. So did you have to like press play, press pause, walk away from it? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Because you had to wait for it to finish loading all the segments. But the way YouTube works, and most video, most all of the internet in general works these mm-hmm. days, like Netflix, everything works this way. Is there's a cache buffer. Mm-hmm. So and it's basically instant. Yeah, but well, so it's it's loading in the next chunk. Mm -hmm. So say say your video your video is this right this this length and you're about the midpoint and you got the little little circle. Stop telling everybody how small you are. Yeah. So you've got the little circle, and then right in front of the little circle you see a slightly redder line, and Mm -hmm. then you'll see the rest of the line that you haven't watched is not as red. Okay. This is YouTube specific, but you can see it on pretty much everything. That is your cache buffer. That's everything that's loaded into your device that is literally on your device right now. As soon as you watch through that, it's loading in the next chunk and the chunk before it is deleted from your device. It's a temporary file that's only on your phone for that segment. The internet is so fast now though, for most people in first world countries, that you don't even notice that there's an exchange of data. You just think you're downloading and watching the entire video. You're not. You're watching 
chunks and blocks. Okay. And then as you watch them, it deletes them because they have the analytics and the knowledge to know that you're probably not going to, if you are going to rewind, you're not going back very far. And that was the technology segment with Andrew Lemax. There you go. There He's you got go. a PhD in... Pretty huge dick. Yeah. I trailed off and just looked at your pants. Actually, speaking of... So Andrew has this beautiful measuring tape that he keeps in the top drawer of the bathroom. So that way he can measure himself at all times. I wasn't measured around my chest until about a year ago. And I feel like this is a spot on depiction of men versus women. Boys and men measure themselves at all times because they want to be big. Whereas women and girls will go through life wearing the wrong but size you, bra. Yeah, I was gonna say, but you just were fucking up. Guessing and hoping. Whereas it takes just a simple measurement. And didn't you by... say it was a pretty big fucking deal when you got that first? I was new... I'm a 32 H. And I'm... I've been wearing triple D bras for years and being uncomfortable. But I finally got measured and I was the 32 H. But I can't measure myself. You have to have somebody else measure you. It's not as easy as, oh, you know, I'm just feeling a little big today. So I'm going to pull out the measuring tape and just, oh, yeah, an extra like half an inch today. Oh, it feels so good. Yeah. No, that's like a perfect depiction of men versus women. Like, yeah, we'll just like grin and bear it, wear okay. a terrible bra, knowing that. Hey, it's your money. I'm knowing not, that it's maybe doing its I'm job. Not, I'm not going to go whereas by. Whereas you're like, Ugh, I'm just having a good day. I'm going to measure myself I'm just not, to make sure I haven't grown some more. I'm not going to go and buy clothes <laughs> that are too small. So <laughs> not intentionally, at least. So, yeah, that's a women. You should really. Oh, uh, so you're saying that you wear a double XL because unless, you have to so much in. No, I'm just saying that like. <laughs> I'm not going to go to the store and be like, oh, you know what? I want to buy a medium today because I don't want to actually know what I wear. But this shirt looks cool. It, it mm, That's too much of a generalization. Well, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. You're like, oh, okay, it kind of fits. But, uh, uh, and then you're all you do is complain about it for three years. Whatever. Anyways. I um, guess we can go through some of this other some of this other stuff okay what's the um, other stuff oh we do oh uh jake and uh his friend i told jake him. from state farm yes jake from sniper school and okay. ranger school and cia oh okay yeah. um so his the the friend that is uh contributing to the show Oh, so I'm like trying to find the exact text where we were talking about it. Um, her her son. Okay. All right, so she's been in California uh, with her son, who just joined the Marines, and now he has a collapsed lung. Somehow has a collapsed. Oh my gosh! I don't know. He probably doesn't know all the details. She probably hasn't told him right. the details. It's just what he knows. So. Came a telephone. Right. I don't know his name. Obviously, it's out Camp Pendleton or something like that. I yeah, think that's... Obviously, don't know what happened. That's where they do. That's where they do basic or what they call boot camp. Okay. It's the Marine Corps, they, they think they're special. Okay. Everything has to have a different name than everybody else uses. Okay. So, so, Laura was okay. her name. And uh, hopefully your son is getting better. Their business is the bodyshopsp.com. I'll put that link in the description. And uh, they're in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. And what do they do at the body shop? Let's look at it. Oh, Pilates reformers. What's a reformer? That is a reformer right there. That looks like a sex contraption. No, it's modeled after a hospital bed. That's where the... So that idea came from actually yeah, I know to this. rehab after ballet injuries. I'll show you something funny later because I I know exactly what this looks like. She's got uh, two loca two locations. Yep, I was right in Wisconsin. If you are in Wisconsin and want to book a Pilates class, check out the Body Shop of 
Sauk Prairie. Is that right? S A U K. Check it out. And uh, Laura, hope your son is doing okay. Um, I've never had a collapsed lung, but I know I've treated many. I've treated several. What's the rehab like? Um, I mean, just having a chest tube in general fucking sucks. I'm sure everything's changed since I've been in that field, but yeah, doing needle chest decompressions, inserting chest tubes, very, 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 very intimate skill in my toolbox. I'm very familiar. I've done more than I can count, both in the army and in the hospital. Hopefully he didn't have to have a chest tube. Hopefully they just were able to drain some aspirate, you know, drain fluid off the lung. I don't, there, there's several different MOIs. It could have been a, like a traumatic, he could have fallen or hit something or mm -hmm. been punched. There might not have actually been fluid putting pressure on the lung. There's a million different things. The avalor, av, aviolar, uh, the uh, brachial, like there, any, they could have collapsed. Like there's, a billion different things. And I'm rambling on about this because I've forgotten more than I fucking learned at this point. I know a lot about it. I do know shit about fuck sometimes. 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 Not when so it anyway. matters. Not when it matters. No, not when it matters. So what other funny things are we talking about? Because Do you know who are... the liver king is? I do not. Who is the liver king? He's a moron. What What kind of moron? In Instagram and TikTok moron. So he was hawking his um, uh, primal diet or something like that for a long time. He would just like post videos. He was like a, you know, like ripped, just like shredded dude. And he was like, oh, all I do is eat meat. And it was like slabs of raw meat and shit, like eating liver. That's literally why I was called, call himself the liver king. Okay. Well, everybody Sounds who's, like a scam. Every, yeah, everybody who's anybody knew that they were like, okay, dude. Mm, no. He was paying eleven thousand dollars a month for steroids. Eleven grand. You're not allowed to do that, babe. I don't have eleven grand. I know. I'm just letting you know. I'm putting my foot down and you're not allowed to do that. What's that? That's a hundred and thirty two thousand dollars a year. That's a lot of fucking money. Is that right? That's that's a that's a small house. Yeah, one hundred thirty-two thousand pumped dollars. into his body. Because twelve times twelve is one forty-four. To pretend to be yeah. getting this in the natural sense from raw meat. Yeah, and that's not what he was doing. <laughs> right. Straight up. So, so it's all a scam. Yeah, like I yeah. just said, it sounds yeah. like a scam. Yeah. No. Um, and how long has he been doing this? Um, he been. I've I heard about him a while back. Okay, a while back being a couple years ago. Okay. I think he really became popular at the beginning of COVID, if I remember right. The only king that I remember from COVID was Tiger King. All at the same time. Interesting. Well, yeah. I never heard about this guy. I only heard about Tiger King. <laughs> if if we would have started our podcast in 2020, we might be big right now. Because well, we met at the end of 2020, so. Even during that time, we still we could have a big podcast right now instead of a yeah. You talked about actually, it for like so, three years, and we're finally doing it now. So. so we actually we are actually very very successful compared to our peers, and we are far ahead of the metrics of where we should be organically. the uh, The target range for a a new podcast under a year is about one hundred twenty five to two hundred fifty downloads per episode. We're like already ten times that. And that's for the top 10%. Okay. We are trending very, very well. We get a lot of impressions. I've actually been watching. So on the videos, there's a historical data. Besides once, the people searching for big boobs. Yeah. Once the video's aged a little bit. Okay. And it's been on YouTube for more than 24 hours. Mm -hmm. um, it starts getting recommended at the end. You know, when you watch a video and there's recommended the, the tiles of all the videos, like watch this next mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, the stuff that we've been coming up as recommended against, like at the end of the video, is actually reputable stuff. So that's a positive. Some of them are channels that I actually do follow and subscribe to that have millions. So we are coming as a video recommendation on the trailing end of a video with hundreds of thousands or millions of subscribers. 
the impressions on our videos on the end screen of a lot of videos now are in the tens of thousands per video. So anyways, yeah. I have the funny for the week. Okay. Um, so I always try to find something happy or funny in a terrible situation and try to try to try to look at not necessarily the positive, but 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 let's find something happy. And um That's not he's, the feel good moment of the week. He sent me the article of the recent tornadoes that have wiped out the Midwest. Well, it's not even just the Midwest, it's the Plain States. And all of the the spillage that is coming out of people's homes and bedside drawers. Oh. Dildos, vibrators. Could you imagine it coming at your house 150 miles per hour and damaging your house, a a vibrating? Oh, some of the bigger tornadoes, they were saying the winds were upwards of 300. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. But the funniest one was a full torso that I saw. (laughs) And it was... You know, just no head. No, the, 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 this, I assume about, guy. She's one of those sex dolls. I that... assume the guy didn't need a head. He just needed the beautiful body. Tits out to here. Waist was yay small. And then this. Bubble butt? Oh, no. It was a very detailed labia. Yeah. And it was clearly utilized often. Washed or? Like, it looked freshly used. Maybe that's what he was doing. In the truck yeah, okay. yeah. He's lucky his dick wasn't still attached. I mean, could have been like a, like a, something uh, Osha would recommend as safety equipment. <laughs> safety equipment? Yeah. A silicone sex doll. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Protect D's. Protect D's nuts. Yeah. Oh, goodness. So that's my funny for the week. Everybody's spillage coming out. All right. Well. Well. Do we have anything else we need to say or talk about on this episode? Buy your wife flowers. Mother's Day is next week. Well, when you're watching. Are you going to buy me flowers? I buy you flowers all the time. You literally have brand new fresh flowers in there right now. Um, yeah, by the time you guys watch this, Mother's Day will be this six, will be Monday's episode, correct? Yeah, six yeah. days away. So, by your wife, by your girlfriend, if they're a mom, mm-hmm. or if you don't have anybody by in your, your mom, right? Flowers. If you don't have anybody in your life, buy your right. grandma some flowers. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Well, I have hurricanes and tornadoes on here to talk about, but we can talk. What I want to talk about is not what you want to talk about. So we can talk about that later. Anyways. Anyway. Um, is there anything else? No, 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 no. Have a fabulous week. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, you good mothers. If you're a bad mother, fuck you. <gasps> Bye.